All right, are you okay? Yeah, we're good. Are you sure? We're ready to roll. All right, let's do it. Mormon crickets, of course, can create some safety issues, including slick roads. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, they're there. All right, so uh, along with the slick roads, uh, <laughs> these grasshopper-like bugs also have big appetites, and that's why they're a nuisance. They can affect crops, as you see here in gardens. Paul Nelson shows us where most of the infestations are happening as we speak. Mormon crickets are back, and they have a knack for showing up in some pretty weird places. They don't fly, but they do climb. They were all over a friend of ours down the street's house, and now about two hours later, we come back and they're gone. So they come and they go and they come and they go. In fact, these large bugs can march up to a mile each day, and there can be a lot of them depending on the year. It can be in a sorts biblical. <laughs> when they're small, there can be several hundred per square yard. They don't bite or carry disease, but public safety is a concern. When one gets run over, others will eat that one. Then they can get run over. There's been reports of that alone can make the road slick. Uh, but if that happens and then we have a thunder shower, then the roads can get really slick from the, the dead crickets. It's pretty easy to spot Mormon crickets in certain areas, but experts say the populations really aren't that bad compared to previous years. The worst infestations happen about every 10 years or so, and they think they might coincide with the end of droughts. In following years, uh, the crickets will get bigger and bigger because of a lack of predators and parasites, and things like that. So far, most Mormon cricket activity is happening near the Pershing and Humboldt County line just outside Winnemucca. They usually hatch in the early spring and they're laying okay. eggs now. So if you see any, it's best to report them. If we know where they're at, then we can have a map for next year that, that will really help us figure out what we can do and what we can't do. The Department of Agriculture sprays or baits Mormon crickets on state and public land, especially near crops. Private property owners are encouraged to use ground bait as well. They're pretty nasty looking creatures, so I can understand why people, you know, want to get rid of them. They're gross and they smash and then they eat each other. It's terrible. Covering the big story, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Oh, the way she describes it, it's like perfect. And I don't think we've ever had that vantage point with a bug the lens, crawling across. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs>